Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited to show you this thrust testing setup I made to measure the thrust of these brushless motors in order to determine the thrust to power ratio of these motors and to see how well they perform with various propellers. I will show you how I built this setup using just a kitchen weight scale so that you can build one yourself. So let's get started. Now I could have chosen to build a weight measuring device using an Arduino, a load cell and few other parts. But I came across this kitchen weight scale which uses a load cell of 10 kilograms, has a least count of 1 gram and already has a display and battery that too at a cost of about 3 US dollars which is a fraction of the cost of the DIY option and will also be time saving. I started by taking apart the weight scale and measuring the load cell's dimensions. From there, I designed a custom mounting CAD and 3D printed it to hold the motors. I inverted the load cell to get a positive reading on the display. The mount has two parts. The bottom part is fixed on the load cell while the top part slides on the mount to easily swap the motors. The weight of the scale itself is about 250 grams and can easily fly away with the motor. To prevent this, I secured it onto a piece of plywood with a screw. Now let's attach the motor and propellers. Attach all the electronics, the ESC, servo tester to control the throttle, a DC current meter to check the current and a high discharge battery. Turn on the weight scale and you are ready to measure the thrust. Safety first. Always remember to wear proper safety gear while working with propellers and high speed motors. As you can see, we are getting precise thrust readings in grams along with the voltage, current and power consumption of the motor. This data is crucial for determining the efficiency and suitability of different motor and propeller combinations. In upcoming videos, I'll be using this setup to measure the thrust of various brushless motors with different propeller sizes. This will help us figure out which combinations are best for specific applications. But that's a topic for another video. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more DIY projects and I'll see you next time.